seasonal update came out, it's kind of screwed me over, where every time I try to look to see what my progress is on either my weapons or um, what I'm doing in the battle pass, I get booted offline. I know a lot of people complain about the, the intro cutscene for Season 1. Personally, I don't really care. Um, I think it's cool how they set it up. A lot of people, though, got that wrong. Like, one dude said, Oh, this, this contri er, contradicts the, the plot and the timeline of events in multiplayer and such because they're supposed to be together in Armistice. Except it isn't because the map Crash takes place October 25th, also known as Day 1. So no, they aren't, they aren't on the same team yet. In fact, they're, they're still enemies. Um, let's see, what else? I personally didn't like the fact that they decided to use fictional countries. Okay? It, in the game. Like, Urzikstan. J just give us a real country to work with. I mean, you've done that with other games before. Heck. Or if you're too worried about saying what it actually is, just call it the Middle East. That's what you did with the first Modern Warfare. No, Modern Warfare 1 wasn't really... Excuse me. <sighs> a fictional country. They zoomed in and everything, and they could tell you exactly where it was. Like, you had Saudi Arabia, you had Iraq on there, you had Kuwait... But they, they never specified what countries were what um, in the campaign. They just said Middle East, but a lot of people could just figure it out. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fan of the fact that they just said, Oh yeah, instead of actually calling it, you know, for instance with Verdansk and Kestovia, instead of calling it Russia, we're just going to call it this fictional Eastern... European country that doesn't really exist. Because we don't want to step on the toes of anybody in that region for some apparent reason. Um, the visuals are nice. I like the fact that they have a new engine. Um, I do like the fact that it's cross play compatible. The thing I don't like is the exclusivity deals. I don't like the fact that they decided to make survival mode exclusive for a full year. I don't I don't think that was really good. It kind of defeats the purpose of being cross play or cross compatible to begin with. Um not much else I can really say at the moment. So I'm just going to let the credits roll.
San Bernardino. All right, here we go. That picture was taken November 2nd, 2019. We all know who that's supposed to be. Oh, I just remembered something I didn't like. The city's under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once, but it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Hey, you didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor, heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice shirt. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. You've been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please. We're all friends here. I owe you to Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatellas the power to turn acts of terror into acts of war. That's the problem for everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate. Okay, so another thing I just remembered, a thing I didn't like about the game is that, though I am grateful that we can fly helicopters, um, drive around in BTR-80s, and, um, oh, what is it, M2 Bradleys, but I don't like the fact that there is a huge lack of heavy battle tanks, like, you see them throughout the, like, littered through the campaign and through the backgrounds of the multiplayer maps. Like, one of the things that happens if you're on the Chimera, or not Chimera, Jackal's team, um, in the Euphrates bridge map, you guys enter the battle zone in T-62 tanks, and then you dismount. You don't use them, and nothing happens after that. I feel like it was a waste to have tanks in the game if they're only going to be used as, like, a background sort of thing. Like, there's no way to really interact with them. I kind of think that that was lame. Also, when are we ever going to figure out exactly what happened in Beirut? What were they both doing in Beirut? And when this was? When they were in Beirut? Because I really want to freaking know. And it, I don't think it's been on everybody's like, mind, but I genuinely want to know. I still think that it they were in Beirut during the 82 Lebanon War, but who's to say? Because there's not much to go on other than the fact that, you know, they were in Beirut. Um, but with that said, I think I've let this continue on for as long as I want to. I'm Captain Alex Mason, and I'll see you guys later.